Hi friends, it's a beautiful fall day today. I bet, bet you'll never guess what I'm going to be up to now. Got my ladder set up here. And I've got my my tools ready here. This is kind of a neat gadget, this chimney sweeper deal here. You drop that down the chimney and drag it up and it gets stuck halfway and then you get really mad. <laughs> no, actually it works pretty good. It scrapes the sides off for me. And I drop it down the chimney. So then I'm going to try and have all my tools ready here that I need to take up with me the first time so I don't have to make 10 different trips up and down the ladder here. So let's see how this works out. So hang on while I get up to the roof. This is turning out to be a big challenge here. I'm climbing up the ladder, I stuffed all my tools in my pocket, and then my pants started falling off because the tools were so heavy, so I had to stop and tighten up my belt. So let's continue with the progress here. Well, I made it up the ladder. I'm all the way up the roof here. You get a beautiful view from up here. You can see all the leaves I have to rake up down there. <laughs> so as I come around here, well, I'm going to take a look and make sure the television antenna is all good. Looks like everything's good though because it's been working good. Then uh, my project for the day here. We got different chimneys here for the different furnaces and fireplace and but this guy right here is the one we're gonna clean out today. It's a specially built chimney. It's made out of stainless steel with real thick sidewalls and insulation and can stand temperatures up to 2,000 degrees or more. So it's a pretty nice unit, but I always like to keep it clean so that we don't have any problems during the winter. Man, this is just a view of the garage roof. That's pretty fascinating. <laughs> well, I remember when my son and I put these shingles on the roof. It was so hot that day, we couldn't even pick up our tools from the sun shining on them. It was a hot day in July, way back then when we did that. They've been holding up real good. You can see my wood shed here. Ooh, the wind's picking up. We got it pretty full now. It's bulging out of it, so I've got to cover it. Keep it dry. Oops. Go back out here. Now, this is just the scenes from up on the rooftop. Got to make sure it's all nice and safe for Santa when he comes up here. <laughs> well, I don't know if he'll come here anymore. I don't know if I've been a good boy all year, but we'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to work in here. Well, step one here. We got the rain cap removed from the chimney here. That's an important feature to put on a chimney. It stops a lot of water from coming down and doing damage. I can see I have a lot of soot built up here. Well, I can't see down there. Which we'll clean off with no problem. See if we can see down there. Ooh, this is just like on one of them TV shows. Oh, yeah. So we can clean this up real good here looks all just dry powder so it'll come right off this wood burner burns pretty clean then I use all good dry wood so it runs pretty nice for me but I just like to make sure so hang on while we get everything ready here what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop this ingenious contraption down there and when I pull up on it these will open up real nice and just go up and down a bunch of times and she'll clean her up real good and so I just have to get it down in there which is no problem and you kind of just drop it all the way down it's like you're doing a, a water well here this is pretty exciting hey eh? well let's just take a little break and look around here again and enjoy some of the beautiful day Bears down there being real quiet. I don't think he wants to come up here and play. I'd walk over there and look at him, but right now I don't want to let go of my rope and have it fall down the chimney. So I think I'm going to tie it to something here first because it did that once and I can get it out in the bottom, but then I have to go down the basement and get it out. So I've got to open up the bottom anyhow. 
and drink, catch all the stuff that comes out. So, hey, let's keep going down here. Okay. I'm going to pull this guy back up now. Oop. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard with one hand. Maybe, maybe let it back down a couple times and pull it up. And meanwhile, what's going on here is all the soot's coming off. So hang on while I pause a minute. We got her back up again here and didn't find any gold down there, but it is nice dry soot. So this thing's burning real clean. There's no build up here of the gooey, sticky tar. That's what starts chimney fires. So you want to make sure you have good, clean wood. So anyway, I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit, so hang on. Well, I've been working on this for just a few minutes. It don't really take too long. That's a pretty neat gadget. But now everything looks pretty clean down there. I, I inspect it way down there. Now what we can see here, ooh, this looks like a, something the doctors would do to a guy, huh? Uh-huh. Well, I, I don't know, we can't see much, but it looks really good. I don't see any problems at all going on down there. And then this is, like I say, this is a thick insulated chimney. I've, Costs a, quite a bit extra when I installed it, but for the safety, it sure is worth it. Then this one is just for the regular gas furnace, so if I don't feel like doing firewood, you can always burn gas. Then I have a fireplace in the living room. This one don't get used very much. It's got spiders growing in it. <laughs> so I'll check that one over too, though, and make sure that it's all good. But the birds can't get in with these caps on. So now I've got this one here all cleaned up. And then I just have to put it back on here, spin it in place, then I put the screws back in on the sides here. You can see looking at my hands, it's a dirty job. So you want to make sure you take your good shirt off first and hang it up somewhere safe because otherwise it'll get some pretty black soot all over it. And it sure is a beautiful day from being up here doing some work. Yeah. I think I'll walk over and see what bear. I don't know if I can see bear down there. I don't want to hang all the way over the edge of the roof here. He was looking at me, but I, he won't come out. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm nuts for hiding way up here, huh? Maybe he's right. I think some of these projects I tackle were for me 30 years ago, maybe. <laughs> oh, it sure is nice sitting up here, though, peaceful. See all the pine needles falling and the breeze blowing. Nice day. Ooh, and then I see I gotta clean my rain gutters out too. Oh, another fun job. Oh, isn't it fun to own a house, huh? <laughs> okay, I know. Let's see what other trouble I can get into. Got my wind vane up here, but he kinda it moves. And I suppose it needs a real strong wind though to get it going. And I've got my antenna system set up so I can pick up all kinds of television off air. Usually not too much on TV worth, worth watching anymore nowadays, but it's there if I need it. Well, I should get this top screwed back down here and see if I can get back down the ladder in one piece. So hang on while I do that. Hey, okay, now we've got the cap back on. See, it's not only a rain stopper, it's also a spark arrester. Because living in a forest here, you don't want to even think of having a spark come out of there and starting a forest fire. So you make sure all your chimneys are in good shape and have spark arresters on them. Normally when I'm running it, there's several inches to two feet of snow on the ground. So that won't be long and that'll be coming. But pretty exciting project, eh? Hey? <laughs> this is a nice aerial view from up here on the rooftops. This is actually the first time I've ever videoed off my roof, so you guys are seeing it for the very first time. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> As you can see, I don't have close neighbors when I tell you I live up here where it's nice and quiet. So. Let's see what else I can do here. Well, hang on while I gather my tools up and head on down the ladder.
Now we're complete up here. Now I have to head down to the basement and take the bottom off and catch all the soot that comes out of the bottom and make a big mess down there. I don't know if I'll do that today or not, but I just wanted to do this up on the roof part while the weather was nice. So I've got my ladder tied down good here so she won't slide off from under me. When I was a young guy, I spent a lot of years working on ladders, so I respect them. That's for sure. But, uh, okay, hang on, I'm going to go down now. Hopefully the tool belt, the tools won't be heavy and pull my pants down again. I should have put my tool belt on, but I didn't do that, so hang on. Well, we're on my way back down the ladder. Bear, he don't know what to make of this. He's just sitting down there watching me. He's been real quiet. He's like, I think you're crazy. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come on down the ladder here now with me. That ought to be exciting. Let me grab my flashlight. Oh, got to be careful here. Time. Oh, I made it. How about that? Okay, well, I'm going to pick my mess up here and wash up a little bit. We'll see if any of these video clips worked. And then we'll go from there. You want to say hi, Bear? Huh? You want to say hi to everybody? There. Give them all a big kiss. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for watching.